Hey everyone, it's Jared, and today I'm in Elkton, Tennessee, here at the Promark Sawmill. Now there's a lot that goes in to making drumsticks, and so for the next few minutes, I'm gonna take you through each step of that process. We're gonna meet Ed, the foreman of this whole operation, and all the other good people from Promark and Diodario. Let's go. So Ed, tell us a little bit about what's behind us here. All right, well this is a big pile of hickory logs. Which one's a 5A? <laughs> I can't tell you that yet. Logs come into this machine to peel the bark off. It also cleans mud and rocks to save wear and tear on mill machines. After debarking, the logs run down the conveyor into the mill. They're looking for white logs for first quality drumsticks. The head saw cuts off each layer of log to get as much white lumber out as possible. Then the operator decides what kind of other byproducts he can get out of the rest of the log. Now, for us, only about 14% of the wood is good enough to make a drumstick. So the rest of it, the other 86%, we're going to turn into some other product that can be used by somebody. We want to make sure we're using 100% of the log. Lumber is sorted to piles for drumsticks, flooring, and cabinets. The boards are ripped into one-inch strips. When hand sorting the wood for drumsticks, looking for white lumber, then disqualifying any defects. All of the potential drumstick lumber now carries on in the mill. Then they're graded and sorted into drumsticks and other lumber uses such as furniture and dowels. After that, they're stacked for kiln drying. As if it's not hot enough in Elkton, Tennessee, I'm feeling the heat coming from behind me. Tell me about what's going on behind us. All right, these are dry kilns. So this is where we take our the wood has been stacked, we put it in here to dry it out. Well, it's gonna be in here for about two and a half weeks. So the main reason we do that is, we wanna make sure we bring the wood down nice and slow. If, if we don't, we risk damaging the wood or warping it. So the one on my right hand here is green, and the one on my left hand is dry. So at this point, we can see that the wood shrank. And then it's also a very noticeable difference in the weight. The doweler acts sort of like a big pencil sharpener, making the corners of the wood round. And many companies are using that same type of machine because of its accuracy. We are here in Houston at the Promark factory. I'm here with Tim, who's head of... Quality. And with Jason... Plant manager. And we're going to get into the factory, which is it's a lot noisier in there, and we're going to show you how these sticks are made. Let's go in. So this is where we actually cut the drumsticks. We have two sets of grinders. One grinder does the butt end of the stick, and the other grinder does the tip end of the stick. This specific bottle will end up being a nylon stick. Um, so one end does the butt end, and one end does the tip end. Everything is computer controlled. Uh, everything is quality checked about every 10 minutes for dimensions. Um, we're holding metal working tolerances with a wood product. Each size of stick has its own uniquely shaped grinder block. The grinders are swapped out in thousand piece increments. Lacquer finish is poured in and rolls around the sticks. The tumbling media is added to help smooth out the sticks and leave a bit of tackiness. For the nylon tips, they heat raw nylon up to about 500 degrees and the machine shoots the nylon into a mold that actually bonds to the wood. The wood will actually break away sooner than the tips will fall off. So we wanted to stop creating reasons to pull sticks out that are great drumsticks. And so she's been doing it for 35 years. This is where we uh, downgrade things like cross grain, anything that's not gonna make a good drumstick. She pulls it out by eye. Um, every stick that goes through the Promark process undergoes this operation. So everything that you buy in the store has been inspected by a human eye who's been doing it for 35 years. In a world of automation, there's a lot of automated stuff here. You still have someone checking each and every one. Absolutely. It's very cool. Some sticks are dipped and dried in the solution for the active grip technology. Drumio artist Rich Redman has a signature stick that uses the active grip technology. When adding the logo, they use a silk screen machine, which allows them to get bands all the way around the stick. The imprint is actually rolled on the stick. Because of the accuracy and consistency up to this point, the roller goes on flat and smooth with no imperfections. 
These next two machines were custom built. They spin the stick and a laser tells them how much the stick is moving. The sticks are then pitch matched by striking each stick with a hammer and they measure the exact pitch. The sticks are paired to each other within a quarter step in pitch within the chromatic scale. Finally, everything is packaged, shrunk wrap, and sent to the warehouse for shipping out to stores or all the awesome drummers around the world. Hey, Jason, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you showing me around. Tim, yeah. thank you so much. So impressed. So we're actually going to head over to New York where this stuff is going to be distributed yeah. now. And so maybe I'll see you there, maybe not. But regardless, I want to thank the, the kind people at Promark for hosting us and allowing us to take a peek behind the curtain. Appreciate that very much. <laughs>